Hello everyone, it is Mrs. Red here from Mrs. Red's Art Room here to tell you what is inside the December 18 Red's Art Cart. It's the last art cart of the year, can't believe it. Anyway, I'm not going to pan down today, I'm actually going to just stay as I am um, for two reasons. Well, actually it's only one reason, it's basically that what's in the December art cart really has to be seen. So the YouTube uh, video that follows this is what you really want to watch. So I can just explain what's in the cart. I also have to explain some additional items that you need to use um, when you receive your cart at the beginning of December. So the Red Zart carts are a subscription uh, box uh, here in Australia. So you can subscribe for just one month just to have a go. You can do the subscription so that it automatically um, deducts the pay amount every month or you can actually buy them after they've been released. So um, in the first week of December, if you want to buy the, uh, the December cart, you can then purchase it from the Mrs. Red's art shop .com. Okay, so we are talking all about marbling for this cart. Um, a fun month for Christmas, not too much technique, I guess. Just a lot of fun. The great thing about marbling is that no two pieces are ever going to be alike. They're all going to be completely originals. So in the cart, you're getting the marbling set, which I will open up soon. You're also getting a palette. Obviously, I have used this palette. Oh, I can see that it's a bit glary. Um, palette for putting the inks down into. You're getting two of these fine brushes. Um, they, they are just cheapies, but that's all we need them for. We just need to have some brushes. And you're getting four sheets of the Japanese Hosho printing paper, which is this stuff here. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of a mottled effect to it. And it has a rough side and a smooth side. So I don't know if you, no, you can't really pick that up on the, um, on the camera, but you will feel it when you actually receive this in your cart. You'll know which side it is that you want to be printing on um, because it has got a rough texture to it. Here are some examples of the fun I had. This one, the first one, is the one that we actually used for the, um, the, the, the sample artwork. How much fun is that? Just using some of the colours. And then that was the other example of trying to get the best light for that there. Still working with dodgy lights in here. Here's another fun one that I did. Okay, so they're all on um, the sheets of Hosho paper. So the, there's two things that are not in the cart um, and obvious reasons for that. One of them is just some paper towel or kitchen towel, depending on where you live and what you call it. Um, you need the paper towel to, when you bring your paper out of the bucket of water, you've got to lie it down and get all the excess water out of it. Um, so please have some paper towel handy. And the other thing that you're going to need, which clearly I couldn't give everyone, is a container. Okay, so this was a good size because it's deep enough that the ink, when, um, when you actually do the printing, the ink will fall down here and then you can do another um, printing as well. So either it's something around the house or go and buy one like this. It becomes a storage container afterwards anyway, so a um, couple of fun uses, but you definitely need that to do. Um, I don't recommend doing it in the sink, just purely because you can't see what's falling and lighting wise it's not so great. And although you're not putting too much ink in at any time, um, you just don't really want that going down the drain. It's better if you can throw it out onto the grass. So I'm just going to open up this marbling cart now. So this is the main main product. The cart. And because I've used it, it's all going to fall out. So you're getting six little colours there. I don't know if I've put them back in the way they should be. Um, but that's the, mar the proper marbling ink there. And you can blend these as well. So if you wanted to make a, a really um, limey yellow, you can actually use your palette and actually mix a new colour and then dip your brush in and do the marbling that way. You can also, as you'll see in my video, you just take that 
oops, that lid off, I just dropped that, and tip that upside down and it will drop onto there. Um, I'll just leave that there. So the other thing that is in this marbling cart is these little square, I um, mean, sorry, square, circle holes. So they actually have a purpose. And the purpose for them is that when you, you lay, you punch some of these out, and I've got some, some here, you can keep using them again. So these ones are little dirty ones, although you can't really see that there. Um, you lay these on the top of the water, and then you put your ink onto them, and they will spread the ink out on the water rather than, I think when you drop the ink into the water, it's too heavy and it will just want to fall. So dropping the ink onto these first will actually keep the ink sitting on top of the water surface so that you can do your printing. Um, the other great use for these brushes is that you can use the back end to do some swirling so that you can get all these, whoops, these swirling effects there. Uh, you also get in your cart, as always, I'm not sure where it's gone. Um, nope, can't find it. Your little um, square red art cart card. That's for you to use if you're putting it onto social media so that you can just recognise where um, the artwork, where the uh, products have uh, come from. And you also get a little trading card. Now the trading card in the December cart is actually a little sample of the Hosho paper. So it is quite fine um, and would love some of you to actually print on that one as well and possibly send it back to me so that I can then send it back on to someone else. So with that said, uh, there's not a lot more I can actually say in regards to the cart. You need to go to the next video which will actually show me demonstrating the marbling techniques. And um, I hope everyone has a lot of fun with this. Please put it on um, social media. So the Facebook page, the Mrs. Red, Mrs. Red's Art Cart fa uh, Facebook group, or the Mrs. Red's Art Room Facebook page. Um, and then there's the Instagram. So you hashtag Red's Art Cart and you'll be able to be able to share your artwork with everyone else. Have a lot of fun with it. Um, it is the December art cart, so it's a little bit more fun related. And uh, I will see you again for the January art cart for the new year. Wow, <laughs> we're already um, at the end of this year. Amazing. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I will speak to you again soon. Sorry, me again. Just another couple of things. Um, when you are using the water container, don't feel that you have to move the water container and lay out your paper towel um, to dry your paper. I have done that because I'm working in a very small space because of the webcam and I don't have a setup where I've got a webcam for the water container and then one for um, the paper towel. So make sure you've got enough bench space where you've got your water container and you've got your paper towel set up beside you. And secondly, the other thing that I wanted to mention uh, was that when it comes to the subscription art carts, there's also a gift subscription. So you can actually go to the Mrs. Red's Art Shop page, uh, mrsredsartshop.com. There is a three, six or 12 month art subscription. So you can actually gift this on and you're paying the full amount there uh, and it's not a recurring monthly fee. So I just forgot those two little bits of information. Have a lot of fun with it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.